Hey guys, in today's video, I will be swatching the e.l.f. Cosmetics Sheer Slick Lipsticks. So, there are six shades to the e.l.f. Sheer Slick Lipsticks, and I present them here. And as you can see, they come in beautiful summer shades of pink and oranges. So without any further ado, let's get into the details of these sheer lipsticks. I actually purchased these on the e.l.f. website, elfcosmetics.com. And I just want to go ahead and read more about what these lipsticks are. So in the details, and I am just reading off the e.l.f. Cosmetics website, these lipsticks are described as a silky slick lip formula inspired by the summer days of biting into juicy, delicious fruit. Let this lipstick melt into your lips, leaving you with a sheer wash of color and a smooth, hydrated feel. So let's see what these are all cracked up to be. I'm going to start with the first shade. This is called Orange. So that will give you a closer look at how much product it is. On the box, it's saying it's 0 0.06 ounces and these retail for $5. Like, do you guys see how bold this shade of orange is, even though it's described as a sheer lipstick? I don't know, but this just got me all twisted. I know that when I was swatching this on my hand, I thought, huh, this looks a little more pigmented than a sheer lipstick. And what do you know? It definitely swatches a lot darker than a traditional sheer lipstick, which I am not mad of. Next up, we have a pink shade called Grapefruit. This is a cute shade of pink lipstick that's given me girl next door vibes. I love how it's given me that natural but better type of pink lipstick with a little bit more color, if you get what I'm saying. I like this shade. I have nothing else to say. Next shade I got here is called Wild Peach. I want to say that so far, this shade is the sheerest of the ones that I've swatched so far, but I'm not mad at this color either. It's it's like the perfect flush of a red, like a red-orange type of shade. Okay, so moving on to our fourth shade. This one is called Jam or Jelly. And like the name describes, it's gonna be a more purple shade. So I had to clean up my swatches because they were all getting mixed up here. I am going to try and carefully swatch this one for you without running into the other shades. And this one is Jam or Jelly. Purple, like I've said time and time again, is a universally flattering shade, and this is so perfect. So I didn't realize that my camera was off, but I ended up swatching Dragon Fruit, which is here. And I swatched it on my lips as well. And 
I am so shocked at how much this just looks like a straight up lipstick. Not even a sheer lipstick, just a straight up lipstick. And I am here for it. I like all of them. And I didn't think I would have a favorite just because I, so far, I've enjoyed swatching all of them. And I feel like all the colors swatched pretty well. But now I'm definitely uh leaning towards this dragon fruit it's just a gorgeous color i just love how it looks lastly but not leastly hopefully not leastly we have cherry slush So Cherry Slush is looking more like that true sheer shade, whereas it's not as pigmented as the other shades. So this one is the truest sheer of the bunch. <laughs> to me personally, just from the way it looks on my lips. All right, so we have finished swatching these e.l.f. sheer slick lipsticks. I went back and put dragon fruit on because clearly I was a little attached to that color. I'm not gonna lie, it's, I may have to declare it my favorite shade from the bunch. So I just also wanted to talk about the packaging. I realized that the packaging isn't very secured. You know, it's cute and all that it's sheer and you can see straight through but the lid is not very secured unfortunately this does come off very very easily so um i wouldn't recommend putting this in your purse because then you're asking for trouble and also because this is a very delicate soft type of formula so in this heat this is going to melt as fast as the glue holding your dentures or your wig girl i'm not even gonna lie it is gonna create a disaster in your purse so i do not recommend keeping this in your purse because the lid is not very secured so that was just one thing that I wanted to bring up. So what good is it to me if it looks all cute but it's not doing what it's supposed to do to keep my product secured in the tube, right? Do you agree or do you agree? Let me know in the comment section below. So going back to the details, it says it's a silky slick lip formula. Definitely agree. It's very slick, it's smooth, it's moisturizing. My lips feel very hydrated right now. If I stretch my lips, it doesn't feel dry. It doesn't feel like my lips are falling apart. It doesn't feel like they're cracking. The lipstick moves with my lips. They are in unison with each other. They are in rhythm with each other. So I love that about this, this formula. Um, they are inspired by the summer days of biting into juicy, delicious fruit. I thought they would have been scented because of the way they describe it as juicy, delicious fruit. But on the other hand, I'm glad that it's not because not everything needs to be scented. There is no use for scents in cosmetics at all. They serve no purpose but just to, I guess, remind us that we have a sense of smell uh, but yeah these are not scented so either way I am happy about it it melts into your lips leaving you with a sheer wash of color but as far as the sheerity <laughs> or the sheerness clearly they are not a conventional sheer lipstick they're not a traditional sheer lipstick they are more on the pigmented side. They pack some power pigment there. 
um, which I don't know how to feel about this because if you describe something as one thing but we get something different, that would be false advertising, right? But is this something that we really want to complain about? I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this situation, but um, a person of my complexion, typically we do not complain about pigments because pigments usually work in our favor, if you get what I'm saying. Would you complain about a sheer lipstick that comes out to be more pigmented? Like, is that really a bad thing? I don't know. And that's... That's my situation right now because on this channel I struggle with finding lipsticks that provide enough pigment to show up on my lips just because I have a more darker pigmented lips so it's hard to find lipsticks that provide that for me and tons of other people so when I find lipsticks that do have that pigment it's like hurrah something it's gonna work for me. I don't know. You guys share how you feel in the comment section below, but um, that's just how I feel about the whole sheerness situation. What else can I say about the formula? It does feel like a lip balm, more like an upgraded type of lip balm with the color payoff and the, the creaminess, the smoothness, the, the hydration. It does feel a little bit more, yeah, more elevated, more upgraded. But that is what I have for the review on the e.l.f. Sheer lipsticks. So if you like this video, make sure to go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell so that you are always made aware of whenever I upload a new swatch video. I want to thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you in my next swatch video. Bye!